The 1970 Cadillac turns the corner on the 60s, carrying with it into the new decade the leadership of the old and all the advancements in performance and handling, in comfort and convenience. Since the beginning of the 60s, much has changed and much has continued. The appearance has changed considerably in the last 10 years, but the Cadillac poise and character remain clear to the eye. On the 1970 Cadillac, the grill is new, but it's certainly a new Cadillac grill, at once recognizable, not possibly the grill of any other car. A familiar identification is missing. The V under the crest will not appear on any 1970 Cadillac. The crest alone, somewhat larger than before, adorns the nose of the hood, which also has a new bright chrome front molding. The Fleetwood wreath and crest continue to distinguish Fleetwood Cadillacs. And this winged crest appears on the fender nose of all cars. But on the Eldorado, it is molded on the outside of the parking and front turn signal lamp lens. On the subject of lamps, you will notice some changes in their treatment and sizes on all Cadillacs. Some of these changes represent natural styling development and some are responses to federal lighting requirements for passenger cars, stipulating that certain lamps and reflexes be increased either in brightness or in size if they did not previously meet the so-called Class A lighting requirements. These requirements apply specifically to front and rear turn signals, front and rear side marker lamps and reflex assemblies, and rear reflexes. The rear reflex shown on this DeVille is in the lower bumper outer end beneath the newly styled tail lamp. The tail lamp housing can be removed by prying the bumper downward, preferably after loosening the upper bumper to body attaching bolt. Backup lamps have been repositioned to the center bumper bar flanking the license plate holder. The lamp assembly is taken out through the license plate opening after the removal of two screws underneath the bumper. On the Eldorado, the rear reflexes in the bumper have been increased in size, and the tail lamp assembly, designed to present a very sleek, trim appearance, uses two bulbs for increased brightness to accommodate lighting requirements. Returning to the front of the Eldorado, the radiator grille, which is itself new, is perhaps just as interesting for what it says as for how it looks. Eldorado, 8.2 liter. This plaque announces the Eldorado's 500 cubic inch engine, putting Cadillac still another step ahead of the industry in passenger car power output. This engine, standard on Eldorado and not available for other Cadillacs, has the largest displacement of any production engine in the industry. It was developed from the basic 472 Cadillac engine. It is rated at 400 horses. The added power is produced by a new longer stroke crankshaft, which also develops increased torque in the medium speed range. The new crankshaft is not very different in appearance, but can be identified by the letter.